Okay, I'm going to show you three features in Google Sheets that I use often. The first one is the ability to freeze a row or a column. When you freeze a row, it basically doesn't move. It stays put while you scroll through the rest of your data. So for example, row one here is, is header information. It's not actual data. So I'm going to highlight row one, then go up to view, freeze. I'm gonna tell it to freeze one row. So now row one is frozen. You can see how it has a little uh, gray line around it. And when I scroll through my sheet, that doesn't move. So I'm always going to know what the header is for each column. You can do the same thing with a column. You can freeze a column. Uh, that's sometimes helpful if you have a lot of columns that are going across. So by freezing the first column, maybe that might be student name. You can see exactly what data lines up with each student. So you can freeze as many columns or as many rows as you want. And it really is, is pretty helpful. Uh, the next thing is has to do with sorting. So you have figured out how to sort just you know a, a regular column, column A, column B. But there are some advanced sorting features, which are also really helpful. So I'm going to first select the data that I want to sort, go up to data. I'm going to do sort range, and then I'm going to go down to advanced sorting options. So from here, I can first of all say if it has a header row, maybe I didn't freeze the row one, but it has one. I could tell, I tell the sheet. But I can also have multiple ways that I'm sorting. So maybe I want to sort by column B, the number of annual visitors. And then I could even go ahead and after that, sort by column A. So for example, maybe I would be sorting by a column that has the student's grade level. And then after that, I want it to be alphabetical. So I would see all of the sixth grade students in alphabetical order, and then all of the seventh grade alphabetical, eighth grade alphabetical. So this allows me to sort by any column and also have multiple sort ranges. So just to show you what this looks like. So now that I've sorted, it, got, it went by the number of annual visitors. Um, the final thing I'll show you is how you can hide data. Sometimes, there might be a row or a column that you just don't need to see all the time. You don't necessarily want to delete it, but maybe you just don't want it to be visible all the time. So simply select that column or row. You're going to hit the little down arrow and you're going to scroll to hide and you can hide that column. So you'll see it goes now from A to C. It still exists. We didn't delete it, but it's just out of sight. To bring that column back, you simply go to the little arrows, expand, sorry get there and it brings it right back to for you so again it's nice if you just need to get something out of sight for a little while so that was freezing sorting and then hiding